The thing that really attracts me to World of Warcraft is you can play with your friends. I've made some of the best friendships I've ever had on that game. I, I don't really see it any different from joining like an adult recreational soccer league. You can go to all these really cool conventions together and you even get to make friends with people around the world as opposed to just locally. So it's all those things combined, I guess. My name is Krista. I grew up in small town Wisconsin from a town that nobody's heard of. I am a content creator and I've been streaming on Twitch for almost 10 years now, I wanna say. I remember the first time I even heard about Twitch was someone linked me a stream and I was like, people just watch people play video games. That's so weird. Um, why don't I just do that? <laughs> So I made a Twitch account, started streaming, so I'm like, I already play so many games, why not just stream them? I started just kind of asking like, oh, there's an org here, like, hey, do you guys need any help? You know, starting to just ask around like, what kind of things do you have, what kind of positions? Because I thought it'd be really cool if I could move my daytime stuff over to anything video game related. And over time, things start happening, get more deals, you know, you start making some connections and then I, you know, started getting into casting and then became more and more familiar with the orgs that are around the space. and you know, shooting my shots, seeing if I could work with some of them. I have been playing World of Warcraft since I was 13, so that was 15 years ago. I saw some cool advertisements for World of Warcraft on TV and started playing the trial. Started scrounging up what money I could and got a sub rolling, and from then on, the rest is kind of history. It's, it's kind of crazy to think that since being like a middle schooler, you know, seventh grade, here I am now, like almost 30, and I'm still playing the same game. <laughs> As of the last few years, I've been going in casting for World of Warcraft events. I fell into casting because I became involved with one of the guilds that was competing. One of the people that worked there just randomly asked me, have you ever thought about casting before? And I was like, no, what's that? <laughs> and then after that, you know, they showed me and I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, MDI, I've seen a couple of this before, or I've seen a couple of things like this before. And they said, I think you'd be good at it. You should try it. So they signed me on and I casted it. And then, you know, the next race, I was contacted by a different org and I did a few races for them now. So I just kind of fell into it and I got some other cool opportunities too. I uh, got to cast a charity event for Blizzard. The past few races Echo had were in person. So the last two that I did, uh, I had to travel. Uh, the first one was in Germany, which is really cool. And then the second one they had in Switzerland. So if Echo contracts me for things, I get to travel. Balancing that isn't easy. It's something that's all planned ahead of time, but uh, for the past couple of races, for example, I'll use X, that's probably the most time intensive. A typical day was usually wake up, cast for a long shift, then do whatever prep we can for our own stream in the middle of the night, and then it changes every day. So you gotta hope that you're able to fall asleep. And it's also really stressful because you, during this time, have to keep up with everything and do as much research as you can to make sure you're saying the right things on the broadcast because sometimes people can be a bit critical <laughs> if you are wrong on anything. What makes casting really special is that you really have to care about the thing that you're casting for. I feel like it'd be kind of hard to pull off shifts like that if you don't really care about constantly talking about something like that for hours straight that you don't care about. So you have to naturally love the game. You have to know about a lot of the game. And um, the thing that I think makes it really special is there's other people in the room that are in the exact same space as you. They also love the game. I mean, you have the players that are playing for 16 hours straight. They love the game that much to think, I wanna make this tournament where money is on the line for it, right? And then you have the casters that care enough about it to, you have to do a lot of research and talk about it constantly. And then you have the people behind the scenes that they aren't on camera or a player at all, and they care about it that much to do like the hard work, the hard, really important work. So I think what makes it really special is you're surrounded by these people that love World of Warcraft this much, and then you're all in the same room together. So that's probably what makes it special for me. I was really interested in signing with Golden Guardians because I've had nothing but really good experiences with them. I've had really good experiences with their employees, one of the main ones being Johnny One Lung and then also some of their players I already spend a lot of time playing with and we do side content together um, in our free time. So, you know, when I saw that there was an opportunity, knowing that I would get amazing support, getting to see the brand new venue that just opened up that they have. And it's just like, if you need anything and they can help you learn more, like, you know, even just before I came here, I was having a long discussion asking about like some of the operations and just everyone here, had the same goal, they love the same things. So it just feels like it's another, you know, kind of friend group that you also get to work with. There were a lot of struggles when I started streaming. Um, the first one that immediately came to mind was the hardware. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs>
Um, after figuring out how to set up OBS after days of troubleshooting, because it was a lot harder back in the day, I realized, wow, my microphone is terrible quality or like, Maybe I should get something better than this $5 keyboard so I have better precision keystrokes. And I got all of this stuff upgraded before I upgraded my chair, which was a literal fold out camping chair with like cup holders. And I was sitting in that thing for like a year or two until I finally upgraded that because I had no money, you know, as a student. The technology is really important. Not only do I need to make sure it can support all of the new games that are coming out, but on the side, it's like sometimes I'll do a little bit of editing and Having things load in Photoshop or Premiere properly, especially when you start getting a massive folder, you know, that takes a lot of power. So if you start to have a computer that's not running as well, or it's not up to date on the kind of, you know, new hardware that it needs for these kind of programs, uh, it makes it a lot harder and things start to run slower. And especially when you combine that kind of work with using the same laptop for your university stuff, if that thing breaks, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> Oris is perfect for bridging the gap between my creative and technological needs for a multitude of reasons. It's perfect especially for travel as well in case I run into another instance where I need to play, but I just can't bring my desktop because I don't like to. Um, what's insane is these laptops are so good that they have better specs than my desktop. Like I've played the games side by side on them and it runs all of the games better than my pre-built desktop at home. It's really good for helping with any needs that you need for even any replacement parts. Um, or again, if I ever want to travel, or maybe I just swap out my desktop for a literal better running laptop. Sometimes it's hard to get a good laptop that can run so well. And this laptop runs better than my desktop. It's way smoother when I run games like Cyberpunk or Hogwarts Legacy. And one of the really cool reasons is because it utilizes the NVIDIA DLSS. Oris has been really awesome, letting me preview the laptop and letting me take it with them because you know now I'll never have to run into these traveling issues. I get to play everything in the highest definition possible. I can enjoy games with that otherwise stutter on my own PC. 